Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your complete competitors list for the Men's Classic Physique Division for the upcoming Olympia, 2021 Mr. Olympia, and there are so many competitors that I don't know if I'm going to be doing a complete prediction list, I still may do a top 5, top 6, but let's face it guys, with all of these competitors, the judges, I'm sure they have in their mind who they're going to have against Chris Bumstead for your first call-out. I mean, you have your your Terrence Ruffins, your Breon Ansleys, all kinds of guys. Alex Cambronero, of course, many others as well. But one would be remiss to overlook at the number one man there, Laszlo Corrali. Let's have a look at this dude, if you will. And if he does... If he is lucky enough to, uh, you know, get past the, the politics, things of that nature, and if he is compared to Chris Bumstead, I honestly think that he has the ability to size up against the champion a lot better than all of the other guys that I mentioned there, the number one contenders. And here's what I mean, guys. Look at this. The guy is huge. Now, this is the... Uh, the British Grand Prix, and I don't like to use these pitchers. James Hollingshead won the title there in the open class, and his pitchers are very distorted as far as the camera angles are concerned. So to be honest, it takes away from the uh, the V taper, even takes away from the bicep peaks for uh, Corrali, Corrali Laszlo. But take a really good look, guys. He's actually probably taller than Chris Bumstead. I believe he's six two, where Chris Bumstead's maybe 6'1", but like I said, hard to size with the camera angles all distorted, but take a close look, guys, look at the wheels, the upper body, this Laszlo is not only huge, structurally speaking, but he's ripped to shreds, monsoon, ripped to shreds, Gino, <laughs> anyway, guys, so like I said, if he is lucky enough, which he probably won't be, let's face it, guys, but Kerali Laszlo, he's my dark horse pick. I think he's the only one with the groceries, with the structure, things of that nature, to defeat a Chris Bumstead. And of course, the front lat spread, he's being ripped off because of the camera angles. James Hollingshead, same thing. He can't use those pitchers. And obviously, look at his feet. You can see the back of the, of the, the ground. And look at Chris Bumstead. See how the ground's flat there? That's the angle that you should be taking this at. You can see the lats. But you can make an estimation on this. Look at the tiny waistline of Corrali. And look at the shoulder width. I think he's going to be a bigger dude than Bumstead. Oh, come on, judges. Put him in that first call out. Here's the front double. Look at the lats booming on the man. Look at the wheels on the dude. And the vacuum, maybe not as crisp as Chris Bumstead's. I like uh, that vacuum on Bumstead. Maybe a smaller, smaller vacuum for Corrali, but what that means is he has a much smaller waistline. And for a, a bigger dude, and obviously you can't see the biceps in this picture, because the cameras, uh, they must have had it on one of those little drones flying, hovering above. Anyway, anyway, like an angel. Ah. We don't have all of the shots, but here's a side chest, and... Meat for meat, muscle for muscle, Corrali has it. But Bumstead's display is so good, so good. Man, oh man, look at that midsection of Corrali. Even the obliques just bulging out. Actually, you guys watch desktop bodybuilding. Welcome back, Xavier Wills. Pretty sure he did a video on this guy, on Corrali, calling him the most shredded or something like that in the division. And hey... That, that could be, that could be. And when you do place these guys side by each, if he has the thinner skin with the bigger structure, you know, they could, uh, obviously he's not going to beat Chris Bumstead, guys. <laughs> Unless he's going to beat him from the back. In which case, mm, he's, he, he, he's not. He's not. Camera angle again, guys. But the thing about this... Chris Bumstead, he's genetically gifted in the wheels. He has a whole lot of separation in those hamstrings. Not to say that Corrali's not conditioned. Looks like an Ian Valliere story where he doesn't have a whole lot of 
muscle separation in the hammies, but he is obviously conditioned. Look at the glutes. They're shredded. Peeled monsoon. That was a that was a bad Jesse Ventura impression. Jesse the Body Ventura. Ha ha ha. Mark's minimum. Minimum muscle. Trust me. Anyway, guys. Ripped to shreds, but does not have those blessed Latin insertions like Chris Bumstead has. And he didn't always have those. Worked hard for those. Anyway, guys. I would have Chris Bumstead winning from behind. Let's have a look at the abs and thigh. Bumstead has a much better... I don't know what you want, a silhouette, a silhouette here. But then again, guys, you can't use that against Laszlo, against Corrali Laszlo, because of the camera angles. So let's, for a minute, just look at the thin skin conditioning. Wow, look at the obliques. Look at the obliques, guys. He's ripped to shreds. Like I said, he's peeled. Good and peeled for the 2020 run, Mr. Olympias. Yeah, Laszlo doesn't have that, uh, the Inzi stomach, the concave like Bumstead has, but look at the obliques, guys. And I, I believe that, uh, he would get Bumstead in the abs and thigh pose, but obviously it's not hit to spec for either guy. And I'm not going to announce a winner in this one, but obviously Chris Bumstead is going to place ahead of Corrali Laszlo. Hopefully they do get compared because this is my dark horse pick for the Olympia, not to win it, but to shine through and uh, become another Terrence Ruffin. Like Terrence Ruffin really shined through. You know what I'm saying, guys? Placed high over Breon Ansley, things of that nature. Hopefully we can get this Corrali Laszlo in the mix. And maybe this video will give the judges a heads up. Come on, guys. And don't be, don't, don't be commenting and saying, oh, Mark's Max Muscle. The judges would never look at your videos. Listen. Listen to me. Kai Green watched my video one time. Once. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm sure they probably won't. Hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Look forward to all of the updates on the Olympia. Might do a prediction for the classic. Definitely going to do one for the open class. And that is coming today. Today. Without further ado. Have a great day.